Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're well. Today we're back with another tutorial. We're going to be talking about how you can transfer a game save over when you've had to update a map. So you know sometimes when modders update their maps, they'll sometimes say a new game save is recommended. Well, I'm going to show you how you can start playing on the new map, on the new version of the map, without having to start afresh and set everything back up from scratch, especially if you've got a lot of hours in a game. You don't want to lose those. You want to make sure that you uh, pick up where you left off, but you are still playing on the most recent map. So first things first, um, I'm going to use the northern coast because the update for that came out the other day uh, and I haven't yet updated it. So it's a good opportunity to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go into my current save game on the old version of the map. We'll load this up and I'll show you around. So here we are in game, as you can see I've got a few mods running, I've got a nice Massey parked there. Just a few things to remember here, I've got my slurry tanker and my fent there. There's lots of things on here that I've been doing work on, look at all my bales in there as well. So there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't want to lose, I've got grain in my silo as well. So we know this is here and we're happy that everything's working at the moment on the old version of the map, but we want the new version of the map. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is jump straight out of the game. I've quit it down completely and we need to update the map. In this case, I've got the Northern Coast on my desktop here. Of course, you could update it through the mod hub within the game as well. So as per last time, we need to go into Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 19, Mods. I've got a copy of the Northern Coast on my desktop. All I'm going to do is copy that into the mod folder lift off it's going to prompt me to replace the file in this destination i'm going to say yes to that and there we go so we know we've got the latest version of the map in our mods folder now all we need to do is jump back into the game so we're back in the game now uh, there's our save game save game six uh, which is our existing game now what we're going to do here is we're going to go and find a new empty slot um, we're going to start from scratch we are going to find the map and we're going to load up the map. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to deselect all my mods. I don't need any mods in here because all we're going to do is we're going to start this game and we're going to save it straight away. So here we are in our new game. Um, like I said, no mods installed at all. And just for confirmation, nothing in the sheds. Shed doors even shut. Open the shed. No Massey Ferguson. No fent. No slurry. Spreader. Even the gate's shut. This is a brand new map with nothing going on on it. So that's all we need to do here now, is go up here, save the game, and quit. Okay, now we're back out of the game. We are going to navigate uh, back to our Farming Simulator folder. So within Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 19, we're going to stop there. Now this is where our Mods folder is, and this is where we copy our mods into that folder. But we're not going to do that this time, because we know that our current save game for the northern coast is save game six. So we're going to open that. And then we're going to go to another, open another window on our computer. We're going to go to documents again. We're going to go to my games, farming simulator 19. And our new save game that we just opened and then closed very quickly was save game nine. What we need to do here now is copy over some specific XMLs that will make sure that it will move the things that we have in game over to the new map. So if you look over on the left hand side here, you can see there's a lot more files in here than there is on the right hand side. That's because I'd used certain mods, I had certain things installed. Um, so what we want to do is make sure we copy these over. So uh, we'll start at the very top and we will copy and paste Animal Pen extension. That's copied over. We'll also copy uh, career save game. Course play custom fields gets copied as well. Course play settings. Okay, the next one we want to copy over, uh, economy. Uh, we haven't changed anything on that. Uh, we'll copy environment over. And we'll paste that. And that's the first one that we're replacing. We'll copy farmland as well. 
paste that over. That's another one we're replacing. And we will copy farms and replace that as well. Fast Night is uh, one of the mods I've got installed. Um, we won't copy that one over because it doesn't actually do it. It will create a new XML in the new game as long as we've got that mod installed. Fruit Density we don't need to touch. Fruit Density Growth State we're not going to touch. Global Company we will copy over. Guidance Steering we will copy over. So basically you're copying XML files from specific mods that you've got installed. Items, obviously, if we've got any items in game, we want to copy those over as well. That will replace a file that's already there. Uh, missions and NPCs, the next two, you can copy those over. Um, there's no harm in doing that if you want to. Um, the next one we're going to load in is tree plant. We'll copy that over. And that's if you've planted any trees in game or made any changes to trees. Uh, the last one is vehicles. And obviously that's any vehicles that you've purchased. And we will paste them in here. So what we have transferred there is a large amount of files over to the new game. Now what happens is we'll jump back into the game now and we'll see if this has worked. So here we are back in game. Let's scroll. There is our original save game, 123,366 pounds, 17 hours and 34 minutes played, last saved on the 19th of the 11th. So that is our old game, still there, still safe. Yes, it's running on the new map, but uh, all our data is still safe there. Now, if we go to this one, save game nine, you can see here already the money is 123,000. It's showing 17 hours and 34 played, save data. So. We've transferred all of that stuff across. Now what we want to do is turn this on. It's even remembered the mods that we had installed. So we should just be able to hit the start button here. And hopefully, if everything's gone to plan, we'll hit start. Of course, play will scan. We have our Massey Ferguson sitting exactly where it was on our old map. We go around here. There's our Fent. Now, the moment of truth if we go in here, all our bales are in here. And one more thing I just wanted to show you as well is uh, just to confirm that it has carried over uh, and highlights the fields that we own. So it's remembered that and brought that over as well. So that is a, another positive. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Very easy. Just the copying of a few XML files. Please be careful, though. Um, obviously, um, I am not going to be responsible if you mess up your game saves. This is the way I do it. This is the way that I transfer my game saves over to a new map when there's an update. And it never let me down yet. So fingers crossed that the same happens for you. But do take care. If you want to back up your files before you start, I would certainly recommend that. But from me, the farm sim guy, I hope you found that useful. As always, leave a like if it's helpful. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. But from me, for now, take care. And I will see you all again very, very soon.